hey what is the most important thing that you should consider when you are creating your ai agent system for production especially for your business do you know what is to create a fallback mechanism what i mean by that is you cannot really depend on one provider whether it is your ai api service or your std or speech to text or your text to speech or any other service that you integrate your ai agent with right so you cannot depend on one provider and this is especially when you are creating a SaaS. so that is why in this video i am going to talk you through how to create a fallback mechanism in your ai agent system so that you can create your ai agent as a production ready service so let's dive in to the screen and let's see the very simple technique to create your multimodal ai agent with a fallback mechanism in place here we are in our ide and this is a very simple use case and in the previous video i have already created a hair salon agent if you have not seen that i will attach the link of that video so please go ahead and check that because in that video i have talked you through about the free services using the free llm or std or tts service you can create your ai agent but you can't really own free service provider right so that is why you need to actually add fallback mechanism and in this video we are going to actually show you how i have converted that particular agent so this one was the previous one and how i have converted that using a fallback mechanism it's very simple as i said so i'm just going to show you quickly so what i've done is basically i created these three uh, variables so this is like fallback std so what will happen is it will initially connect with openai as a speech to text but if openai fails then it should fall back to deepgram it's very simple right it's just kind of an array implementation with the fallback adapter and this is the fallback adapter that LiveKit provides out of the box this is really nice and this is what we would use for this particular demonstration similarly for llm if openai llm gpt 40 mini fails so somehow let's say openai provider is down or something then it will immediately switch back to grok now you, you, it doesn't have to be in this order you can actually use any llm uh, you can even in fact uh, use grok as your primary and then your openai llm as secondary or fallback provider i have just used it for the demo purpose so that i'm using everywhere openai and then i'm using another provider for fallback TTS, I'm using OpenAI for TTS and then I'm falling back to DeepGram when the OpenAI is not available. And as simple as that, and what I'm doing finally is in the STD or speech to text, I'm using the fallback STD variable that I've created using the fallback adapter. And similarly for LLM and similarly for TTS. Now, if you notice in each and every cases, we have used the fallback adapter um, implementation that is provided by LiveKit. So that is the easiest configuration that you can do to create the fallback mechanism in your AI agent system. So now it's time to test, right? So what I will do is I'm just going to start the AI agent first. And there we go. This is all running. So what I'm going to do is now go to the UI, which is here. I'm just going to refresh it and just start talking with it. Hi, this is Emily from No Ordinary Hair and Beauty Salon. How can I help? Hi, Emily. Do you provide any kind of a facial treatment service? Yes, we do offer facial treatments. Our facial treatments range from 40 pounds to 75 pounds. Would you like to know more or book an appointment? Now, as you can see, this is working with OpenAI, but I don't have a way to make OpenAI go down. Uh, one approach to really test this would be to use some kind of proxy like a light LLM and stuff, but I haven't got time to set that up. So what I have done instead to test it is, is I have created this fallback JSON where I have kept the OpenAI API key. So I'm just going to change this to something else. And then I'm just going to restart the service. So once I restart the service, as I have changed the OpenAI API key, uh, the OpenAI specific module should fail now and then I should go back with the fallback configurations. That's how I am doing testing. But again, as I've said, this is not the real test. In a real test scenario, what would happen is the actual OpenAI would fail. So that means in that case, what two options you can do if you want to do real testing. One is you use something like light LLM and through that use the OpenAI. And in the light LLM, you actually break down the connection to test it. Or 
you can do another thing is you can change your etc host file and change the ip to localhost or something now i have tried that but the problem with that approach is sometimes your dns doesn't get resolved even if you change the etc host so your program will literally just load the last dns known ip and connect it with it so even if you change into etc host it will not actually going to enforce the change so that is why i could not actually test it on the fly but you can choose both the approach i'm sure it will work with this approach of course i'm going to test it where i have set the wrong api key for openai so as a result openai would fail and then it should fall back to the grok gram for std and gps let's test that let me hit it again hi this is emily from no ordinary hair and beauty salon how can i help hi emily do you provide any kind of facial treatment service yes we do query salon info facial treatments to get the details that's great uh, can you please book it for me to book an appointment i'll need your name and phone number please what's your name so as you can see, the voice has changed. That means the TPS, STD, and the LLM has worked. And as you can see, there have been a lot of error that has been produced in the uh, agent log that because of the API key changes, but it is now falling back. But the only thing here is it will only fall back after like two attempts or three attempts. So that means in this fallback settings, you might face uh, some delay. So you just need to fine tune that configuration so that your number of attempts for fallback is you can set it minimum so that you have less delay in case of a fallback event happens in a real life use case. So that's what I just wanted to share as part of this video. This is a very quick video I wanted to show you. Of course, we need to fine tune it much better. And as I said, these are all approach we discuss regularly in our SAS course. So if you're interested in creating production standard AI agents or production standard SAS, make sure to use the link below and join the course as it is still running on offer and as we are still in the pre-launch phase and you will have of course chance to meet other business owners and other peer members as a community uh, where we catch up every week now having said that it's really up to you and if you also want to support the channel you can now take a membership as well that is option is open and that will really help me to produce more such content for you and with that said I'm going to end the video. So until the next one, please take care and I'll see you until the next one.